Hello, it's me Marcus. Welcome to another one of my confectionery reviews. Today, I've got an Oreo egg. And I'm looking forward to trying this. I've done this year the Reese's egg, a Lindor egg, and did I do another one? I think I did. Oh, Hershey's egg. The Hershey's one, well, you'll have to look at the... Uh, review to find out but Oreo is something that I, well, I I like Oreo biscuits anyone who knows me knows that I'm quite a fan of biscuits it's one of my you know my sins if you like I, I eat a lot of them too many of them so I'm expecting good things from this Oreo egg so I'm gonna open it and get to it Alright, so first of all, it's about the size of a cream egg, as you'd expect. Now, what's different about this, if you look, it's made top and bottom. Whereas a cream egg is like uh, the two sides are made. I would have thought this costs more to make, because obviously a cream egg, you, you can use the same mould, can't you? And put the two halves together. But this is done top and bottom. I wonder why they've done that. Who knows? Anyway, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Or oh, smells good. It smells. That smells like dairy milk. I don't think it's. It's not made by Cadbury's. I don't think. It's a bit late to look at the uh, the foil, but anyway, it does smell like dairy milk. Hmm. Oh. Well, the cream inside is kind of like the texture you get in a custard cream biscuit. It doesn't taste it, like it. It's um, I'm trying to work out what it does taste of actually. Let's eat that bit of chocolate. <laughs> detail got into that they make it with a rim so that the top bit pushes on the top and sticks that's quite a good bit of sort of engineering isn't it into a chocolate egg okay so I'd say it's like a vanilla Vanilla sort of buttercream with chocolate biscuit broken up in it. Chocolate biscuit crumbs. Very much like a Oreo biscuit. It's Oreo biscuit, isn't it? So, but yeah, that's nice. Well, I'm happy to share the experience with you. Mm. That's very nice, that is, but I certainly only want one. I don't want any more chocolate tonight after I've had that. That is quite rich and sweet. Definitely, if you're um, after a bit of a chocolate craving, or you need a bit of, you know, a sugary, sugary chocolate sweet craving, that definitely ticks the boxes. So I'm going to give that. I'm going to give it seven and a half out of ten. The strong seven and a half. Seven and a half, almost eight. But I'm going to stick seven and a half. 
So, hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Until next time, do take care and I will catch you soon. Cheers.